Okay, we're tasked with finding an angle between zero radians and two pi radians that's coterminal with a standard position angle measuring negative 21 pi over five radians. So we're having to deal with radians this time around. All right, so it's important to remember that coterminal angles just mean two angles where the terminal side lands in the exact same position. So if we kind of take a look at our initial one, if we have a second one, what that would mean is it would be rotated around an extra time around the circle, either in the positive direction or in the negative direction, but it would land in the exact same finishing position as the initial angle. That's what we mean by coterminal. All right, so in this example, we're dealing with uh, radian measure. So it's important to remember that to go all the way around the circle once, it's gonna be two pi. So to rotate all the way around the circle, it takes two pi to do so. So that means if we're adding two pi to, to an angle, we're finding a, a coterminal angle that's bigger. If we're subtracting two pi, that means it's just rotated around in the negative direction. We're finding a smaller or more negative coterminal angle. All right, so in our example here, we are, start with negative 21 pi over five radians. And that's negative, we need it to make it positive. So it's between zero and positive two pi. So our goal is gonna be, we wanna add two pi to this. However, we kinda of wanna strategically write this. Instead of just adding two pi, we have a fraction that we have to deal with. So let's write this two pi so that it has that same denominator of five as the original fraction. Uh, that'll make combining fractions together a lot easier. So what we wanna remember is that we want whatever we put in the numerator, when we divide that by five, our new denominator here, it has to equal two. So it's gonna be double whatever the denominator is. So we're gonna use 10 over 10 pi over five because 10 over five, 10 divided by five makes two. So we're technically adding two pi, but we're sort of strategically doing it so that we have that common denominator already in place and we don't have to fiddle around with that. So as we do this, we keep that common denominator and then combine the numerators. So if you're at negative 21 pi and you add 10 pi's to that, you're to negative 11 pi's. Not quite good enough, right? We wanted to end up between zero and positive two pi. So we still have, we found a coterminal angle. So these are coterminal, and we just aren't quite in the right place that we were asked for from the beginning. So let's try it again. Let's start with negative 11 pi over five. And let's add two pi again, but this time, again, strategically, you have that five for the denominator. Let's add two pi by adding 10 pi over five. Again, you can keep that common denominator. We already did work to get that. And then combine your numerators. So negative 11 pi plus 10 pi makes negative one pi. Again, another coterminal angle to the initial two that have been boxed in but not quite where we want it to be. I think doing this one more time is gonna land it right where we want it to be. So negative one pi over five plus two pi. But again, we're gonna write this as 10 pi over five. Keep that common denominator. Um, negative one plus 10 makes positive nine pi's. That fits right in to our zero, between zero and two pi. So that's the solution we wanna give for this one. Now, when you're dealing with um, radian measure, ours started out as being a negative radian measure. Uh, so we had to add two pi to get um, to the right range between zero and two pi. Um, if you had started with a, a bigger positive value, you may have to subtract two pi to land in the right range. Just be careful when you're doing this, um, rewrite that two pi so that you get that common denominator. It's gonna make your life a lot easier. So if, if say you had seven pi over three, and we were tasked with the same thing, you would wanna subtract two pi, but you do it strategically by getting that three in the denominator and using six pi over three because six divided by three is two. And our goal is add two pi or subtract two pi to end up where we want to. So that would be the coterminal angle to seven pi over three, but it would be in this correct range between zero and two pi. All right, hope this video helps. Um, until next time, good luck on finding coterminal radian measured angles.